Hi guys, welcome to Rotorite. Today we are going to talk about the Recon HD box goggle. This is, I'm, I haven't flown a box goggle in a very long time. So for me, this is something new. One thing I do like about box goggles though, are that they do have one screen versus the independent vision, which is better for me. So, and you can't really compare it to like a regular goggle, I feel like, because it is a box goggle. So you have to take that for what it is. But everything looks good. The video inside looks crisp. The interface, I was wondering about that, but just this little button here on the side, click. But it has like the regular uh, avatar settings and menus and all that, which I think is nice. It's not really loud. It doesn't feel super heavy on my face. And what'd they say, 169 bucks? I mean, can't go wrong with 169 bucks. I can hear you that. Can I try it real quick? Oh wow, it looks really nice. That's really clear. Like, I almost prefer this to regular goggles, like you said. They, they, I don't prefer it to a regular goggle. I don't know. But for $169 kinda, versus a $500 goggle. All right, so the regular goggles to me, uh, when I wear my O3s at least, so I, I fly the DJI O3 lately. I've been flying a DJI O3, and I have blurry edges. Like, I can't, my IPD is so close together that the edges are always blurry for me. No matter how I adjust it, I can put it over and then like, I'll off. get my left side clear and then the right side's blurry, or I'll push it over, I'll get the right side clear, the left side blurry, but the field of view is so wide that I always end up with blurry edges. This is 100% clear, 100% in focus from edge to edge for me. I like that. Today we're gonna to show you the difference between digital video and analog video, and I figured I would do that by taking this little analog Bobito drone, just letting it go for a little ride along on my other drone. Analog recording, we've got these EV800 old school box goggles. They're a little big, they're a little bulky, but I don't have to wear them because we're just gonna use these to record the analog footage. So the Recon goggles, they're a box goggle, but they don't come with the same sort of connotation you might be used to with a box goggle because they're really not that huge top-down comparison they're almost only half the size of a regular box goggle with this one you got a lot of weight because the screen is almost all the way out at the end so you have a lot of weight pulling down off your face the main difference between these goggles and the more expensive goggles is it's just a single screen so it's a lot uh, cheaper component more common component so it's a cheaper component to source, so the goggles are significantly cheaper. But it doesn't, to my eyes, really make the quality any different. It still looks great to me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's the difference between your analog quality and your digital quality. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of difference in the quality, but there's not that much difference in the price. These are one of the cheaper, go cheapest goggles that we sell. They're 100 bucks. They're analog. These goggles are 170, and you're getting that sweet digital footage out of them. So there's more expensive, more fancier goggles with more features. But if you're just looking for a goggle to get get the job done. In digital, that's what the recon goggles for. Where are the old box goggles at? What are these? What are those things? <coughs> yeah, what's up? Like How you doing? That's like the old. Oh my school. gosh! <laughs> Whoa, those things are crazy. That's the old school box <laughs> goggle. So really, like <laughs> they've been flying. They've came. A, they've came a long way here. Yeah. And this has awesome. integrated <laughs> antennas, so you never have to change that. So that's one good thing. You don't have to worry about buying antennas after you buy it. That's another thing that these are actually HD, so it's not like we're. Where is my box goggles? <laughs> oh, oh, I was playing with them. So it's not, so it is full HD. So it's not like we're talking about, I mean, I guess box goggles were always, uh, you always thought about uh, analog. Analog That's box goggles. That's all you really thought yeah. about. So now like we're coming into like a box goggle that is like the new HD and all that. The good thing about these goggles is that you're getting yourself into the HD ecosystem when you buy them. If you're trying to find an affordable way into the HD system from analog and to get that beautiful HD 1080p in your goggles, this will get you there. For sure. 100%. And then if you do decide to upgrade to more powerful dominator goggles in the future, you won't have to upgrade your drone. It'll already be yeah. on the same system. Okay. Now, if you if you have bought these 
to use with say like a Vision 40 or something like that. Then before I went and bought a, a more expensive pair of goggles, I would definitely upgrade to a five inch quad with the HD system and fly with these until I got comfortable. Absolutely, That's yeah, I mean. that'll get because you. nothing, just because you're gonna look a little prettier or you might have a little bit better of this and that, more <laughs> options, having a workable and high quality quad is definitely more beneficial to you than the hobby. Let's go through the specs of these goggles. These goggles have a field of view of 44 degrees. They have a four inch 1080p 60 frame per second monitor. They work with an input voltage of 2S to 5S and they work well with people that have an IPD between 55 and 76 millimeters. All right guys, let's, now let's go over the outside of the goggle. This right here is gonna be our 2S to 5S port for power. This is gonna be our multi-directional joystick to go through the menu within the goggle. This is gonna be our record button, our back button. There are four directional antennas placed in specific places in the goggle for your best video performance. Also, this is gonna be our fan, and that's gonna be for those hot, muggy, foggy days where your goggles get all fogged up. That will prevent that from happening. On the bottom, we have a Type-C port, which is for HDMI out, so that you can share your flight with your friends through some type of monitor. Also, we have a full screen, which is also awesome because it just makes your vision a lot better with a full screen. And just the physical, like, outside of it and just the size, I mean, compared to something like this, I think this came in at about 330 grams, and it's just a lot more comfortable in your face. And just to compare these two together, I mean, just going off your $100 analog box goggle compared to the HD box goggle, I mean, think about you're talking about way smaller form factor, and like I said, this is coming in about 330 grams internal antennas. All right guys, and that's gonna be our deep dive into the Fat Shark Recon HD box goggle. And uh, if anybody's looking to purchase, we'll have all the links in below. They also come with kits where you have a ready to fly. So if you guys need a kit or something set up, hit us up at the Rotorize store. Thanks guys for watching. <laughs> and we'll see you next time on Rotorize.